All right, just begin sitting. Sit, find a comfortable enough. Most comfortable for you position. It's exactly half past. Bringing your attention to uprightness. So the doors, so then it's on my right hand. And bringing your attention to deep breathing. And then more attention to larger breath, literally more of the breath. And then with more of that same breath, just keep breathing powerfully, long and strong. And then we'll start soon with your eyes now closed. Deep breathing slowly, strong and powerful breath, slow. It's about time, eh? It's about time. No, I mean not that about time, about time you come out to come to a close. Come here. And sitting comfortably with your shoulders relaxed, breathing quietly, big sigh breath several times. And with each exhale sigh, it's an escapism, like a letting go, a relaxing. A loosening and change of scenery. You're becoming more breath aware, less whatever else we can be aware of. So shift your focus to greater breath awareness. Let the breath itself be bigger, a greater breath. And kind of ongoing or incessantly, just keep breathing. But in a relaxed, incessant, no pressure. But you have to keep paying attention to keep going longer and stronger. And if you feel like it, big sigh, exhale. <sighs> Allow the breath to become still. You're sitting upright and at ease. Relaxed, upright. Quiet breath, almost no breath. Then you take out your right hand forward to the front. Pull it with the other hand. Relax your shoulders. And go back into your own space, stretching. In awareness of your upright body, in awareness of whatever you're doing with the breath. Hold the body tall and know that the stretch is making you supple. Also looser, not so tight. Stronger core muscles, especially when you exhale with the nose, out the nose. Slow release to feel the result of the stretch in the hand you've pulled. Pull the other hand as well. Head up, shoulders down. Deep in, big side breath. And then continue to relax, taking it easy on the breath. Relax your shoulders, taking it easy. Keep maintaining your awareness on the stretch area. Shoulders you releasing further to the ground. And uncross the legs. Release the hands, of course. Cross the other way with the legs. Rotate the hands in a large and slow movements. Slow it down rather than speeding. Change directions. 
and change directions. Rest with the palms open. Largest inhale, hold the breath, close your eyes, take the largest breath on top of the same breath. And again, a third, large, deeper, bigger breath, same breath. And hold effortlessly or easy the pressure of the breath. Relax your shoulders, you're relaxing around the pressure, building up. And let the breath leave your body slowly, unnoticed. The end there, the exhale, take a normal easy in with a soft sigh. Relax the back and sink into the ground. And then a large in with a big sigh. Visualize only one spot, color or circle or not a very obvious spot, but you're clearly aware of something like a spot. Bring that attention to the same pot, spot to your forehead. And then see that the spot is a little circle perhaps between your eyebrows, above the nose. Deep in breath, big exhale. And feel two similar spots appear in the palms of your hands, one in each hand. Remain aware of the three areas that you've marked in your attention. Take the slowest, largest breath and hold the breath in while you're holding your attention on those three spots. When you breathe out smooth and strong through the nose, keep your attention same place, but add attention to the whole trunk breath and breathe a few strong breaths in awareness of the breath, the full trunk, and the three spots. And with a large sigh, you relax completely, taking the legs out along to the front, relaxing the body forward, pushing the hands down and the head down. And with your head down, you can push the fingers down, relax your shoulders. Come upright, point the toes at yourself, lift the body up tall, rock left or right, left and right or right and left. Loosen the head, neck and shoulders. Big exhale, rock the whole body free. And then bringing the feet together and to the back with your attention on the knees pointing down to the ground. You're on your knees and the fingers pointing down. And now bring your attention, eyes close to the top of your head, the crown. See a similar spot to the other spots and then generate two spots for your knees. So the knees are a bit lower than where the hands are, and the crown chakra a bit higher than the forehead chakra. Deep in, big exhale. Just be in awareness of you. We're coming forward onto the fingertips, and the right foot comes forward. We'll do a half leg split, so the leg further forward and your head to the knee. Uh, now we're having a big stretch, long hamstring stretch at the front leg. Your head comes down, but you're not forcing your hamstring or the neck. Everything's quite relaxed. Even if it feels you're doing a lot of stretch at the hamstring, don't press it, especially if you're feeling a lot of stretch. Take it easy and slow. Then you can't tear or rip something. And then draw the leg back. Other foot to the front. Straight leg, head down. Chin tucked in. Take it easy. And you gradually stretch that hamstring at the front. Back of the neck is stretching. Draw the foot to the back. We're coming up to high knees. 
hands, fingers interlaced at the back, pull the shoulders to the back, lift the face to a few degrees looking up, up and forward, not directly above, shoulders back, more deeper breath, more firm breath, allow the upper body, back shoulders, the whole region to loosen, and then some more, and some more with each breath. You also bring yourself to alignment the whole time with yourself. Left to the center, right to the center alignment. Release the arms, tuck your toes under, otherwise you can stay on the high knees and have the hands pointing forward. Spread the fingers, back of the neck long. You're rocking a few times to the left and the right on your tucked under toes. And then just spread the fingers, relax your shoulders. Close your eyes, take a deep breath, thinking of all ten fingers. Strong exhale, take a strong breath, think of your fingers and the abdomen. And then the lungs, the fingers and the abdomen. And then moving forward onto dark. Place your body in such a way that you're sure you're stretching the hamstrings, the back of the knees, the calves. And then move, wag the tailbone, bending one leg straight in the other. Or just push the hips more to the one and then more to the other side. Either way, keep moving. In a way that doesn't disturb your relaxedness or stillness or centeredness. Stay like that. Keep stretching. Big sigh of breath. Go back down to knees. Toes tucked under. Sitting back on your feet. Toes under. Big exhale, more wet to the feet. Big exhale, and the head hangs forward, stretching and releasing the back of the neck. Going forward to hands and rotate the feet. Big circles going outwards. Change the direction, circles going in. Exhale, other way around with the circles. To down dog. Put the feet a bit wide and the hands more together at the thumbs. And then put your right hand on the lower back, arm open, head between where your upper arms would be, next to the one upper arm, yeah. Change arms. Breathe. Bring the top hand down. Bring the feet forward to next to the hands. And then see if possible if you can get the tailbone down and the hands one by one to the back. So that we go sitting down to butterfly easily. Large exhale. Feel the pressure right off the lungs. We're pressing the knees down one at a time to the sides. The whole body rocking with the spine movement. Big exhale. We relax while we move your head. Our heads. Big exhale. We're sitting still, and the hands are around the knees, and our eyes are closed. And feeling the body that you're creating through the practice, your body reality or body perspective. Biggest in-breath, you're holding the breath, and you feel, and you're experiencing what it's like to hold a very big breath. You breathe out long and slow. You feel what the empty lungs feel like. Easy in with a soft sigh. It's so easy. Big sigh. Stretching forward with the hands under the feet and the head to the feet. Same position, but everything comes down to the ground. Your head may be all the way to the feet. Stretching direction of the ground. And you're very quietly doing so. In that quietness, you're exploring the space inside that you won't find in another position other than this one. It's also a certain state of mind, attached or associated to the postures. As you come up on the in-breath and the feet goes long, forward, little wide, chest open, shoulders to the back. We're feeling the state of mind of the open chest. 
Raise the face so it's almost parallel to the ceiling. Shoulders going nearly as far back as they possibly could. And with the greatest ease, big sigh breath. And then large in-breath, greatest ease in the nose and out the nostrils. Repeat twice more. So three sets of large breath through the nose. Coming up to the inhale, we're crossing the feet to opposite sides of our shins and calves, but not under the legs, so if possible somewhere here. Take the hands to the back, fingers interlaced. You're pushing the whole body forward and the head. And you're rocking slow motion forward and back in an effort to loosen an area that you may not otherwise. But you're doing it mindfully as if it's a massage. So you really are the recipient of the massage. Give yourself a pleasant experience. Upright and twist to your right. Shoulders down, crown up. Deep, smooth breath. Eyes are closed. Big sigh breath. Big exhale. Crown up. Shoulders down. Twist more. Relax deep into the twist. Twist harder into the twist. Turn forward as an in-breath, exhale at the front. Change to the other side, crown up, shoulders down. Deep breath, relax and push, push and pull, breathe and stretch. Big sigh breath. Turn forward and we also change the feet combination. Hands are on the knees. Crown up, eyes open. You're looking straight ahead. Lift the crown up, take a large breath in, close your eyes. Feel as if your gaze is forward, the body is upright. And you solid, not going anywhere, gazing at whatever. You, in a non-confrontational way, fixing your gaze into. And if you haven't closed your eyes, you close your eyes and take a deep breath through the third eye chakra for the in and the exhale. Become aware of the crown. Become aware of the windpipe and the throat chakra. Take your attention to the heart, and then one of those circles or button-like ideas, a little spot in the third chakra, at, at the stomach, and then the belly chakra, second chakra, for the whole belly area, and the root chakra directly under the crown. Take a large, smooth breath, hold the breath in. Feel all those areas or buttons light up with a life force, energy. Big sigh breath. So connecting to the restoring process, you restoring yourself to energy and harmony. Big in, big out. Taking the legs long to the front. Lift up the one foot, the hands are at the level of the knees. Lift the foot as high as your toe on the opposite side. Then lift up the body so it's straight up. Lift the foot more if possible and breathe there. Big in, big sigh. Change your feet, but take your time. Keep lifting, keep breathing. Raise the crown, shoulders down, keep breathing. Leg is straight, lift it a bit higher, breathe, keep going. Put the foot down, fingertips over the toes, body up tall. Big exhale, you could tilt the head forward somewhat, but keep the shoulders down and the back straight with another big sigh. 
relax the whole lower back region. Stay in the relaxed groundedness. Exhale, take it easy, go further lower. Now your hamstrings and wherever it's tight is starting to loosen. It's changing from how it was. Coming up to the in-breath, you can bring the feet together to a squat. Move your whole body forward from there to hands and knees. Lift the head up, large in-breath, big exhale for cat stretch. Chin tucked in, large inhale for the head up, hollow back, exhale, cat stretch. Stay with a slow but powerful movement, not flimsy but firmly guided by your breathing and body awareness, firmly guided by the whole movement, head up, chin tucked in, hips remaining above the knees the whole time, you massaging loose any tension from along the spine, then go a little faster but slightly stronger as well in the exhales, so that you're building up abdominal heat and strength, Exhale, like a pull-up, push-up, strong core muscles, exhales. And last two sets. Knees wide as your mat is, to forearms, frog stretch. Big exhale, relax your shoulders, take it easy, breathe in, breathe out. Let your head come down a little bit. Stretch the arms further forward, head to the floor, the mat, the forehead. Same position, but relaxed. Same position, take the largest breath, slowly. Move forward onto the forearms, wide with the forearms, or the same if they're really wide, put the knees together. Lift up your right leg and your forehead nearly between the forearms and the ground. Some weight in the forearms. Point the toes up more. Large in big breath. Head remains fairly down, forehead fairly to the floor. Foot can go up more and the hip can lift more. Bring the knee down to the exhale. Change to the other leg up. Top foot ankle pushes up and there's a release at the top leg. Weight in the forearms, keep breathing, strong, powerful breath. Bring the knee down to the out breath. Tuck the toes under. Sitting back on the toes, getting easier and easier for the feet. Big exhale, and those who can, you can balance on the knees, oh, sorry, on the toes, knees up, and the hands forward, big in, big out, coming down to the knees, and the arms up above there, big sigh, You're leaning slightly over to your right, more tall, big exhale, in breath, same easy stretch to the other side, In breath up, exhale hands down, one arm up and you reach up to the hand, push to the other hand, deep breath in big exhale, keep breathing strong, and on the exhale you change, inhale you push and breathe and stretch, keep going, chest open, shoulders back, And when you bring the hands down, let's stack the toes under again. And noticing the wrists are also looser. Circulation improves. Opposite direction, shake it out. Downward facing dog. Big in, big out, press the heels down. Inhale to the front of the feet, heels off the floor, press the heels, exhale down. And again, 
Last one, push hard down, also push hard with the arms. Let the weight of your head loosen the neck. Both hands on the fingertips and thumbs. You walk the feet then easily to the thumbs. And with the height there, you take the hands to the back. Start to bend the knees and that way you can go back to the ground with your feet up. Big exhale, no more pressure in the lungs. It's the opposite of the downward facing dog, you could upward facing. Boat balance, shoulders are free of tension. Breathing a smooth breath through the nostrils in and exhale. Big exhale. Relax your shoulders, you could rock yourself looser, more free. And then be still again. From straight legs to crossed over legs and feet. And we're sitting with the hands easily or simply held in front of the knee there. With the eyes closed, tune into your hips and sit bone region and lower back. And tune into the windpipe as you take a large breath through the nose. And we're sitting in this quiet meditation awareness, awareness of you in the body in that posture. No more, no less. If you're upright, the shoulders are down, back of the neck is long. Then you take the largest breath through the nose and you hold the breath. Add a bit to the breath and breathe with a sigh. Feel the body responding, becoming more supple over time, but also because of that sigh breath and our other breaths. We return to the boat balance, taking the legs out to the front briefly, deep breath, big in, powerful through the nose, straight back, shoulders down, you could bend the knees or place the feet wider if you want, big in, big exhale, same position as prior, legs across, Hands in a simple fold at the front of the knee, crown up, shoulders down, take it easy, breathe out. Easy in, easy out. This could be a standing foot. It's possible, do it. Close your eyes, take a large in, hold the breath. Hold the breath, hold the breath. And with a sigh breath, notice how your sit bone region, lower back, or wherever it is tight, feels tight, or was tight. It's becoming transformed to supple. And then with the legs crossed to easy pose, hands folded around the knees, Deep in breath, sit upright, breathe powerfully out through the nose. And bring the arms up next to the head, reaching up as high as possible. With powerful breath and powerful stretch, you're aware of your upright body and your posture. And through these practices we are doing, they're also exercises, they're also awarenesses. We create the state of mind states of body-mind that changes us, transforms us into yogi people, yogi-minded people, yogi-body people. Big sigh. With the eyes totally closed, but in a relaxed, soft manner, stay, remain as you are. And visualizing a lush, soft landscape, a lush, warm, nourishing mindscape. A lush, supportive heart space, caring, nourishing. Big exhale. <sighs> 
Place the hands on the knees and you're stretching forward with the shoulders back. You can put the elbows close, you could put them wider, play with it, see. Leaning far forward. You got your weight on the feet under the legs as well. To the back, you hang down with the chin. Forward hanging down, you're hanging towards the ground. If you rock left and right once or twice, your lower back will loosen. You come up on the inhale and you cross the legs the other way. We go forward. Large exhale. Stretch, loosen, move to loosen. To the back with the chin tucked in. Loosen. Inhale with the legs long to the front. Big in, big out. Bring this leg right across. This is definitely a standing foot. It's possible. And you have your hand either over the foot or the leg. Feel what is possible. If you can reach the foot, do it. Otherwise, if you reach only the leg, it's fine. This arm comes around the outside of the knee. Your head is down. Take the one hand, free hand to the back, chin tucked in. Deep in, big exhale. You look to the back hand. Let the head hang down with your ear towards the knee, maybe. Your calf at the front leg stretches a lot. When you come up, it's the inhale. Big breath, exhale. It's sit upright in awareness of the flowing energy now. Big side, change to the other leg. Knee, shin, foot. Play with it, try it out, see where you can go. Head down and then hand to the back and head down. You're looking to the backhand direction. Ear towards the knee there where the shoulder is. Your hand is at the opposite foot, it's perfect. Yeah, uh, yeah. no. Ah, yeah, either way, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Big exhale. Relax the head. You're also loosening the back of the neck through relaxing. Now when we come up on the inhale, we have the legs in, if possible, a half-half lotus. Or a half lotus, you can do your favorite side or side that's possible. With the fingers open and straight and the thumbs stretching, crown up. Close your eyes and realize that in a sense you're reorganizing the particles in the body or the energy, whatever they are, energy things, energetic self. And then feel really when we choose a thought or when we choose an emotion, we rearrange how we are. So changing our attitude actually changes our vibration or frequency, like you tune into something else. Maybe tune out of something you don't want to be and tune into something you do want to be. Breathe to support the change. Or when we take a big sigh, <sighs> we breathe to make the change happen. Now we open to change or something else. Feel a gradual, sudden, Transformation on the inside that you can come back to any time next week or tomorrow. You're also transforming into a relaxed, upright person, just that physical. Big exhale. Let's change our feet so the other foot also, the other hip also gets an opportunity. With the ten fingers together now, ten finger mudra it is. Feel with the left hand touching the right hand. At the fingertips we're effectively connecting the whole left and the right half of the body. So we're also transforming ourselves into a whole body experience. 
normally when we stand under a shower for instance we feel the water everywhere and then we realize we want to turn around to get it on the front and so on take a large breath feel yourself immersed in a full 360 experience and a full inside outside experience a full horizontal experience a full vertical one and then feel the fullness of your inner being or you simply experiencing being inside yourself completely and the fingertips at the extremities of your hands actually strengthening the energy inside of the wholeness charging rejuvenating self inside the body shell big sigh Taking the hands to the back, fingers pointing outwards, feet wide as the mat. We lift up to coffee table and feel you're enabling the body to be more open, chest more open. And if you rock left and right with one hand coming up at a time, you can do more with the body more easily. Big in and out breath. Let's move the hands a bit more together. And then see, you'll have to go a bit off the center if you can put one arm up or not. Big exhale, chest up, lift high up. Now you'll be able to lift higher than the bottom shoulder arm. Come to both arms, lift up the other arm. It's a little bit tricky, difficult. And then when you lift higher up and away from the bottom arm, you're getting stronger, you're stretching out more, and the hips can come up more, and you're breathing powerfully. You bring the hand down, big exhale, and you've made a much larger space for you to be in. You rock forward if your knees are okay with it and to the back and then from there onto the fingertips and we're going to go to forward again to hands and knees big exhale big sigh so that would be a warming practice knees a little wide and the thumbs are together now you put only the right hand forward chin tucked in and you're looking between your knees to the back and lift the head and look up towards the hand at the front. you slightly raised again. The bottom shoulder arm is lower. And exhale. Other side. Head, fingers stretching, crown. And start lifting the head and look forward. Lift the arm a little bit deeper breath. Big exhale. Stronger core muscles reach higher up. Big in, big exhale. Bring the hand down. Side breath. Knees wide as your mat. And we have a forearm frog stretch. Slide the arms all the way forward with the chin to the mat, looking at your hands. Big exhale. With the chin to the mat, looking at your hands. You got a deeper upper back stretch. Big in, big out breath. Relax the lower back. Loosen the hips. Big exhale. The hip joints are loosening. The hip joints join the hips, not only in the bone joint but also into the legs and the back big sigh coming up to inhale arms wide under the shoulders but the knees together but, uh, right leg to the back chin tucked in and there's a straight line from the crown to the tailbone straight line from the from the front shoulder same height to the back heel yeah that's fine space there Back of the neck long, breathe powerfully and strong until you get heated. You're stretching so much that you can feel the calf stretch. Stretch more, breathe more. Bring the knee down to the exhale. Change to the other side. Deep stretch, back of the neck long, flex into the heel, chin tucked in. Weight on the two hands, keep stretching, back of the neck long. So arms are strong, keep breathing. One more time, powerful heating breath. Bring the knee down and the out breath. And then coming up to high knees with the hands to prayer, front of the chest. With your gaze glazing over as you close your eyes, bring your attention to the seven chakras. Let each one be a point or a place or like a kind of a button circle, whatever we, what you imagined earlier. Deep in, big exhale, and think of it as an invisible interface between the body and energy. 
like we, when we breathe. We breathe in oxygen, but also oxygen is invisible. Big sigh breath. Bring the arms up above your head, same position. Feel the chakra points and the fingertips pointing up to above the crown. And your knees pointing down to below the uh, root chakra. With your eyes closed, feel yourself kneeling into the ground and reaching into the sky. And in the classic awareness of earth and sky, feel yourself in between. Deep in-breath, big exhale. So whatever the sky is, and it changes depending with what discipline you look at it, from what belief system, but it's still sky, it's still earth. We're still with our knees down on the ground, take a large breath. We're still with our hands up into the air, we're breathing. We're in our bodies, in our arms, in our legs, big sigh. And then bringing the hands and arms down. I'm going to make a fist with the hands. Bring the feet forward. Bend the knees. Take the feet to the back. We're sitting with long legs to the front. Large exhale. Big in, big out breath. With the eyes open, you're staring at your toes. With your eyes closed, you can feel... Your hands on your legs or knees. Big sigh breath. Feel the straight legs. Lift the heels off the floor. Point the toes at yourself. And then bending the legs. Feet to the ground. To the ground. Roll down to the floor. For the position for the half bridge. So with your head down on the ground. Chin tucked in. You're lying on the floor. Stay on the ground, close your eyes, bring the feet to under the knees or heels under the knees more or less. Take a large breath, back of the neck longer, chin more tucked in. Relax the, the thigh muscles and the hips. Relax the lower back against the mat. Relax so much that you feel that you have almost no muscle tone, close to zero. Heartbeat close to zero. Your stillness maximized. Soft back, soft body. Then lift up to half bridge from that stillness and apply the correct amount of muscle tone and alignments, how you are with your breath and your body in the whole position, lift the hips up more, harder work, stronger breath, higher up, back of the neck longer, chin tucked in more, deeper breath, deeper breath, faster, but not hurrying yourself fast, stoking yourself or amplifying yourself fast, strong core exhale, bigger ribs in the end, yeah, it's better. Roll down to the exhale. Hug the head up to the knees. And then with a small rocking action, you're rocking up a little bit and rolling down a little bit. Rocking up some, rolling down some. We'll do that a few times. Chin tucked in, soft, small, a little bit of a massage. Two, three more. And then with the next one, you stay up, down to the front, hanging upside down, forward, double bend. Big exhale, free hanging body. Head, neck, and shoulders are loose. Stay forward, fold, double bend. Large exhale, relax, heavy head. With a big exhale, sigh, relax completely. With the bent knees, you roll up to the inhale until you stand upright. Hands on the thighs and crown up, shoulders down. Largest breath. Straightest up. Head. Straight up neck. Turn around. Bring up your right hand. Take out the other hand up between the shoulder blades. Reach in breath and then point the fingertips at each other. So don't 
interlace the fingers even if you can. Just point the fingers at each other like that. Stay there and breathe. And then close your eyes and breathe more. Open the chest more and breathe more. And then relax more as well. Be still. More relaxedness, more still. More grounded balance. Quiet, deep, still. And then the largest, smoothest breath. Feel the spaces between your ribcage opening. And we deliberately not so deep in the position with our hands so that it doesn't hurt or that it's possible for us to be here. Release with both hands to the thighs. Eyes are closed. Easy breath. Big sigh. Straighten out so you're not tight in the neck or shoulders. Lift the crown. Raise the other arm up this time. Other hand up between the shoulder blades. Palm open to the back. Fingers down. Point the middle fingers at each other. They're the longest, the middle fingers. So they'll touch there. Crown up. Back of the neck. Long chin tucked in. Big in, big out. Big sigh. Relax with the neck and shoulders. We relax into looseness. We're getting more supple. Stillness, total stillness. And with the biggest breath, the biggest space in us can open up. Between the ribs, inside our being, so there's more room for change. Strong exhale. Hand goes up, hand goes, or hands go to the front. Fingers interlaced like such with the thumbs together, eyes closed. Feel you creating the energy for change as well as the place for change. As well as the sort of particle, molecular change, but also postural change, shape change. Big in-breath, hold the breath, big exhale. Put your right foot forward and the back foot on the heel, toes up. Sorry, toes down, toes under with the heel up. Keep the hands, fingers interlaced. Same position with the hands above your head. Big exhale, you can bend the arms and elbows, bend the front knee. You're in the position, but it's easy. You can put your right foot further forward. Well, yeah. You're sinking lower down and the chest is more open. Sinking lower down is more grounded. And you have a sense of being more grounded. You go to the fingertips to the front of your mat. And we gradually land up in a plank push-up position. And to both hands and to the other arm. Easy does it. Deep breath. Big. Top hand comes down. So feel. And visualize yourself. It's also for real. You're attuned to this high sound. Space clearing, you're attuned to the grounding sound, you're attuned to the visualization of the earth and the om and all that is. So, slowly bending the knees.